Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Chris Paul is still searching for his first title. He came close in Houston, but was traded, and by some was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Ibiza Zubox is out there with Morris. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. And for Phoenix, Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. Chris Paul is out there with Booker. And it's Crowder in at the small forward position. A lot of teams with a lot of new players, Greg. This time of year can be a real challenge to mesh. No doubt. You know, getting everybody on the same page sometimes, it, it can take time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will obviously help you do that. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Pass to charge. Fires for three. Paul can't get it to go. And here are the Clippers. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. And here's Sharich. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Here's Crowder. And the rejection by Zubox. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Outside Crowder. And again, it's the Suns missing. Outside Jackson. Pass to Leonard. From the arc. And it's Leonard again missing. Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep here to the inside. Here's Sharch. Bucket is good. Sharch has got the game going here with the first basket for Phoenix. Fighting through the contact, Dario does a great job that time. Leonard looking around. He gets that one. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Left side Crowder from downtown. Crowder with another miss. And so far, the team just one of five, and that rim shrinking. Leonard against Paul. Here's Morris. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high-level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. And the versatility of Paul George's game Elite defense and rebounding, steals and deflections. When you think about Paul George moving to several teams, yet still having the impact on both ends of the floor, I think that is a telltale sign that you have an elite talent in Paul George. Here's Zubac following the basket by Chris Paul. That one good for two. Well, you'd like to push Paul George out of the paint if possible. Goes into his bag of tricks to score that time. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Booker with no one around. A three-pointer is right on target. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Now here's Jackson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Golden State. From 12 feet out. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Aiton. Good chance here for Booker. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Booker's got five points so far. 
catching and shooting with confidence. Devin Booker letting it fly. Now Jackson. Leonard attacking. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds in this game. Call against Jackson. Another one falls for Phoenix. Deceptive speed from Paul there. You never know what he's going to do. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Clippers. It's a five-point game. Leonard against Crowder. Leonard, the pass to Jackson. That one's off, still out of sync. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Phoenix leading by five. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. They get it back, and the shot is good. Charge has got his second bucket. You know, Sharich being aggressive on the offensive glass and that kind of activity is doing a good job gaining them some bonus points. Now, here's George. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Warriors in San Francisco. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense, grabbing three steals on the night as well. The Suns have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Here's Ayton. A 24-point outing in their last game against Denver. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Clippers trail by seven. And the pass to Leonard. Shoots over Crowder. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Jackson. Leonard's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard. He just stays with it and is unshaken. For three, Booker gets the three-pointer to fall. Booker's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Suns. Leonard against Crowder. Leonard inside, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. You think about how quickly it was that Kawhi Leonard just rocketed in the superstardom. And as a leader of a very proud franchise, if you're a coach, he's everything you'd maybe want in a player. First one falls. And in a player empowerment era, no greater power move than Kawhi Leonard's last year. Fresh off a of finals MVP with the Raptors, he signed with his hometown Clippers and compelled a trade for Paul George. Think about that 14-month run where Kawhi Leonard made his way to Toronto, a team that was on the cusp for many seasons. Goes there, wins the MVP and the championship for the Raptors and then ends up in his hometown of Los Angeles to try to do the same for the Clippers. Now that's getting it done and writing your own story. No good from Booker. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the team. And it's Leonard with the jam. A really good decision there from Paul George. Quick to find the open man. And here is Paul. Real disappointing game for him in that loss to Denver. It's Crowder on the wing. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Leonard with the ball. They had a 24-point outing in their last game against Golden State. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive. There he goes! You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, kind of fun when you see his personality come out in his game like that. The Los Angeles Clippers come into this one following a loss to the Warriors. Outside Crowder. Booker in the corner. From deep three-point range, 
He's off on that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And George, here we go. That one goes. Count it. George has got six. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, so close in that one, but that's of no solace to the players. Uh, they played their hearts out. And you want to respond in kind, but that last game, it was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. They ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. A platoon swap here for Phoenix. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at the Pelicans, they've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And seeing where the Clippers are, they're moving in the wrong direction. The good news, though, it's still early in the season. A lot of games left to be played. Plenty of time to turn things around. Now here's Payne, defended by Beverly. Just four to shoot. Plenty of daylight on that shot. So far, both teams scorching the nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Now here's Williams. And the loss to the Warriors the other night, definitely not himself. Here's Kennard. And the rejection by Smith. And he's able to get it back. The offensive rebound. Ibaka. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Now here's Payne. He's guarded closely. Another shot. And he overshot that one, missing. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Williams, that's good. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now Payne. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Passes to Galloway. Got a piece of it. And here we go. Beverly heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway layup. A consistent in finding ways at coming up with steals. Patrick Beverly in the shorts of the opposition. Here's Payne. Johnson outside. Sinks the triple. Johnson's got six. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Pass to Ibaka. Here's Kennard. Ibaka looking for an opening. Shot clock at five. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kennard. I tell you, he can shoot it. He's a crafty finisher and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not a leap to, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. That free throw, good from Kennard. Greg, as a young player, one of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you, as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft, first on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And, that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who've ever played the game. Wow. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Pass to Bridges. 
and Phoenix turns it over again. All right, a chance to check out stats for Lou Williams. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about 18 points a game. Five assists and three rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up and he's really delivered. To the paint, here's Ibaka, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Phoenix gets called for the foul. And the defender overcommits a little bit. Ibaka, too quick for him on that move, earns a trip to the line. The Clippers have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. throw good Ibaka one of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league but that wasn't always the case for Ibaka he has put in a ton of work Ibaka hits both of them It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Now the pass to Smith. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. The Suns shooting their first free throw of the night. throw good Smith Clippers trail by four here's Beverly and Patterson kicks to Beverly trying to get open as a bucket and that one's good Beverly Beverly's got his second bucket of the game to go Phoenix shooting it from their comfort zone so far in this one. 57% from the field. Beverly against Bridges. Right wing. Payne dishes to Smith. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Williams. He nails it. And we're tied up. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Payne. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He dishes it to Bridges. Kicks it to Johnson. Pass to Payne. From deep. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. I'm not sure who is supposed to be guarding him. Ridiculous laps there defensively. Pass to Ibaka. We've got 113 left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Williams. Six to shoot. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by the Suns. Inside, here's Johnson. It's rebounded by Lou Williams. Clippers trail by three. The pass to Patterson. Beverly against Johnson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Bones, he stands just 6'1", but Patrick Beverly rebounds like a forward. 
The fact that he's going to bring it mentally, GA, I mean, that's the huge advantage. I think if you're in the opposing locker room and you know you're going to get on the floor, Patrick Beverly is going to be right in your jock for every minute that you're going to be competing against him. good from Beverly and Beverly just motivated every night to get out here to play to compete he hustles and wants to make it really tough on anybody that's on the opposing side of things and good on the second so he makes them both the Suns leading There's 31 seconds left to play in the first. Smith against Ibaka. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Williams passes to Kanon. Can't hit from in close. And even three-on-three -three break. Here's Payne. Ball stolen. The pull up. Nice to see Patterson make a difference on the defensive end of the floor, staying with his man. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And catching up with Luke Kennard before the game, he discussed what it takes for young players to acclimate themselves to the NBA. You know, this game, you know, it's, it's a physical game, obviously, but, you know, a lot of it is mental. Um, so, you know, just you know, making sure um, you're thinking while you're out there is, you know, one of the big things for me. Uh, one, one of the things I've kind of learned since I've been in the league. Greg, you know this, it takes time mentally for the game to slow down. It's a great point. This is why most championship teams are laden with seasoned veterans. You can't rush experience. It happens at its own pace. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. Guys, what's your take so far on the Suns? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. They've got Smith. Johnson is out there with Bridges. Then it's Payne. And it's Galloway in at the two. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here's Patterson. That's in. He's got two made now. And he's shooting two for three. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Smith kicks to Payne. Back to Smith. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Buck has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And that's just too easy. Bridges in there slamming it down. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogman. Right. Uh, but also guys like Sean Marion. You go back to, to Reggie Diaz, who was a tremendous player. Uh, and right now in the league, you, you got Kim Birch, uh, dunk champ Derek Jones, and an up-and-comer in, in Christian Wood. Good mentions. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Andre Ayton's checked in for Smith. Jay Crowder comes in for Mikael Bridges. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Langston Galloway. And Paul's subbed in for Payne. They are just killing them on the interior. Passes it to Paul. Releases. It's hauled in by Zubats. 
Los Angeles leading by three. To the middle, here's Jackson, and he banks in the layup. Jackson's got his first points in this one. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. Down low. And Morris throws it down. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. And here's Booker. 32 points for him last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Ayton inside. Covered by Morris. Here's Los Angeles now. A big stretch here going 10-2. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better, to keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. Guys, they're hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. And again, it's the Suns missing. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. They grab their own miss. Suns trail by nine. Up top, Crowder. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kawhi Leonard. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. What you love about Crowder, he gives you a little bit of everything at both ends. I mean, defensively, he'll take on anybody. He's smart, draws a lot of charges. Offensively, he can stretch the floor, and he'll make the Shoot extra two. pass. He's also an opportunistic rebounder. And the first one drops. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Jackson against Paul. Jackson passes to Zubats. Here's Morris. Over Sharch. Misses off the left iron. Paul with the ball. Guarded now by Morris. And the wide open shot from Crowder. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Leonard, no luck. Suns trail by seven. Paul outside. To the middle. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Now Chris Paul at his best right there on that kind of play. A legendary distributor who spots the open man. Paul against Jackson. And taken away by Paul. And now the Suns, a fast break. Paul's running. And here's Booker from the arc. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. Jackson kicks to Zubats. Left side, George. Over Booker. Gets himself open and drills it. George has got eight points. Think back to when Paul George entered the league in the 2010 11 season for the Indiana Pacers a skinny kid not so much anymore and it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns looking ahead they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game that'll be the latter half of this two game homestand one of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight not an easy fella to hold in check Jackson deciding where to go with it and stolen by Eaton. Off they go on a three-on-one break. Here's Crowder, and it's sent back by Morris. And this is what staying active can give you. Morris sending that one back with authority. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Sharks. Eight points for Jay Crowder. 
and there aren't many players more reliable from three-point range than he is, especially when the D's playing off him like that. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, Oof. Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Oh, he'd be brilliant and, and yeah. Kemba one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. And so he hits both. The Suns trailing. Paul is doubled out to the right wing. Here's Hayton off the mark there with the three point shot. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Paul George does a great job changing speeds right there, and that's a huge part of his athleticism. Takes it strong to the cup and just daring a defender to come at him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year? 88% from the line. The first free throw is good. And you wonder if Paul George finally has a situation here where he could show why he's an elite player, why he's an all-star, but to pay off how hungry he is to prove it with a late postseason run. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Los Angeles on D. Three-point lead. Paul against Jackson. Pass to Aiton. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And you wonder if Aiton's one of those guys who realizes just how physical and tough he can be. Boy, that was a momentum killer to start last season, wasn't it, Greg? 25-game suspension for DeAndre Aiton. And he sprained his ankle in his return game. The, the Suns, at full strength, able to win some games. He's obviously a huge part of their future. Free throw drops for Ayton. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a walking double-double. This guy has a huge physical advantage on the nights that he's playing other bigs, whether that's by his size or his ability to run the floor. And if he comes out with an aggressive mentality, he could really punish some teams throughout the course of a regular season. And here are the Suns now. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Here's Church. The kick out to Crowder. Let's the three fly. Nailed from three point land. Crowder's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Suns. And some think that Aiton has a chance to be in a class with some of the great big men we've seen. Be it Ewing or Robinson, Hakeem. I mean, those are very lofty standards. Brent, how does he get there? It's a great question. Uh, I think when you talk about it, Kevin, you got to look at the defensive end. And those names that you just mentioned on a nightly basis were a force behind anybody on the perimeter. And they came into that house. It was defended. Aiton gets there. He's got a big opportunity. Phoenix has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Aiton out there playing poker with the flush. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Langston Galloway's checked in for Paul. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Free throw drops for Aiton. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Clippers trail by four. Leonard with the ball. He's got 16. And finished off by Leonard. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, an MVP candidate. Why? Well, they're the reasons right there. One of the best two-way players we've seen in the past five years. The Sun shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Galloway taking his time here. And slam dunk by Sharks. 
go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defended. There's some ways to get your coach's attention and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And the Suns making a change here. Bridges checks in, and then for Los Angeles, Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Zubox, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Reggie Jackson. Booker against Kennard. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Leonard, the pass to Kennard. He was all alone on that one. And it's Galloway with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. Sharich against Leonard. Sharich passes to Booker. Another three for Phoenix. Where they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Beverly deciding where to go with it. A shot by George, wide open. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Well, that three-pointer's got to fire up George and the entire team. Galloway, the pass to Aiton. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And the first one at the line is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Smith comes in for Sharich, and it's Payne in for Devin Booker. Patterson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Williams comes in for George. Now, here's Kinnar. Just five to shoot. Shoots from the line, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Kennard's got four this quarter. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. There's Galloway. He's guarded by Williams. Goes back up, and it's Aiton missing. The Clippers trail. It's Williams with the drive. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. So good at driving to the rim. Even though he's a little bit older, Williams still with great speed, change of pace, and picks the right angle. Pass to Aiton. And stolen by Patterson. Now Beverly, he's got six. Williams looking over the floor. Dishes it to Patterson. That three off the mark. Phoenix has gone four and seven on three-point shots in the second quarter. Bridges, no one around him. Hits the three from the wing. Bridges has got his second bucket of the night. Bridges has a lot of jobs for his team, but if he consistently knocks down three, he can add it to the list. Williams attacking. Good on the shot. Williams has got it all tied up now for the Clippers. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. The Sun shooting here about 46% for the game. Here's Payne. There's the pass to Galloway. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Suns have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient oh, from the break. charity strike. A That's a huge factor. Two shots.
first one falls for him. And the Suns making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Morris is checked in. Galloway hits both of them. L.A. has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Williams, and the shot goes in. Williams has got ten points. Yeah, in a way, Lou Williams, a little bit like J.R. Smith, he'll welcome the chance to, to finish off, especially if it's a difficult shot. The Sun shooting 44% from the field in the second. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Payne. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. The Suns have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. And here's Beverly. Six points for him. Here's Williams. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. Thirty-two seconds left in the first half. Passes it to Bridges. He kicks it to Johnson. For three. They get it back. Here's Smith. They shoot again. He takes it up and lays it in. Five points in the game. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. It's all tied in Phoenix. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, make a good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And you look at the Phoenix Suns, a long playoff absence, but showing some progress, aren't they, Shaq? Yeah, young team is still going to have some bad games, but... Ernie, Kenny, you expect them to get better over time. I agree. Uh, with Booker and Aiton, uh, man, they got a good cornerstone, don't they? I'm trying to think what else they would need, what other pieces to build around them, but they That's don't need much. to start. They man. don't need much. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. 
Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. And it's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. And here is Los Angeles now. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game is the first and last of their home start. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Reggie Jackson out there with Paul George. Then it's Marcus Morris. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Zubat in at the five. Well, Booker's bringing some energy to this one. Always a threat to leak out and score in the open floor. And Devin Booker had surgery on that right hand back in the summer of 2018. Took the opportunity to work on his left hand, and ever since, his game has just gone to another level. You wonder how much confidence, G.A., he's had in making plays, not only scoring the ball with the left hand, but assisting with the left hand, and what that's opened up for him in terms of opportunities to be more effective as an offensive weapon. No good from Booker. Clippers shooting in offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Outside Crowder to the inside. Charge. Yep, it counts. Charge has got the game tied up here for the Suns. Now, Charge on the inside has really good quality footwork. Outside Leonard. Outside Jackson. Takes a three. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Paul with the three. The Clippers grab the miss. Left side, George. Crowder with the steal. And Zubats picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. The Suns have gone two or four here to start the second half. All against Jackson. Here's Booker. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Morris throws it down. Yeah, just aggressive there. Instead of going to one of his patented shots inside, Morris just simply rises up to be free. Phoenix has gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Paul kicks to Booker. Ayton trying to break free. Phoenix no good that time either. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A two-point game. Charge outside. Jackson against Paul. And the rejection by Zubats. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. He's off on the first. Well, this guy should be a double-double threat and is still learning how to play. DeAndre Ayton has a great combination of size, scoring ability, and rebounding. This would, makes him a very valuable player in the league. Good on the second free throw. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. On the wing, George. Pass to Zubats. Inside. Here's Morris. A shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense from Ayton. The Suns trailer. 
Paul kicks to Crowder. Pass to Booker. Lets it go with a three. Cans it from downtown. Booker's got 19 points. Every time he gets going like this, somebody's going to talk about that 70-point game he had in Boston. It's not going to be me. And taken away by Paul. Here's Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Zubac, no good. Suns lean by four. Stops. Pops. Here's Ayton. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Lots of times you don't mind fouling a big, but Ayton's a solid foul shooter. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. And his percentage at the line last season, right at the 75% mark. Ayton hits them both. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Leonard against Crowder. Outside Leonard. Outside Jackson. Can they get it? And the dunk by Zubac. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Ayton with it. He's got 13. Now here's Booker, six on the shot clock. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Booker's got seven now in this quarter. Such a creative scorer is Devin Booker. Look at him just checking out the options and scoring that time. And the Clippers call time here. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, started at the University of Missouri and played pro ball started in high school Devin trained with his father trying to follow his path no one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players Devin Booker is second Chris Paul fourth and, and how about the work both of them put in from the foul line just such a consistent dependable performance from both and we know the story, Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skills. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun, getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. Morris against Booker. For the performance on the offensive end, he's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. The pass to Zubac. George double teamed and stolen by Booker. Four on three break. Paul with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. Paul with the bucket. Well, this is why the teammates for Booker are loving him. He keeps working on his ability to find the open teammate. Jackson kicks to Zubac. Outside, George. Back to Zubac. This one for three. A shot missing. And Phoenix will come the other way. Four on three break. Paul with the three. Offensive rebound. Here's Ayton. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And now it's a 10-point Phoenix lead for Los Angeles. They've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. It's George on the wing, defended by Booker. And George gets it to go. PG playing behind the pick and roll, able to use his size. And pretty good decision that time with the basketball. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. From 11 feet away, that one a little long. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows in the last couple of years just being a much more efficient scorer. And last season, Marcus Morris is named one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Marcus Morrison's offseason a year ago. A lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs, switched to the Knicks, and then eventually traded to the Clippers. So grab your musical chair and try to find a seat. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Smith checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Bridges comes in for Sharich. Johnson, he's checked in for Crowder. And it's Payne in for Paul. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Marquis, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. Booker against Williams. Five to shoot. Here's Payne. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Abaka's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the paint. Here's Morris. Bridges with the board. Phoenix leading by six. Booker right side. Payne passes to Booker. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Clippers have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Feeds to Beverly. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And it's Payne in the corner. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Payne's got seven points. Clippers trail by eight. Ibaka outside. Passes it to Kanon. Inside, there's Williams. Missed inside. Phoenix has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Pretty lax defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Morris, terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. So it's Phoenix now. Six-point lead. Now Booker. 23 points in the game. And there it is for him. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. And the Clippers call time here. Uh, a three-time sixth man of the year. Last season, Lou Williams named his newborn son six in honor of his success in that role we talk a lot about the Mount Rushmore of the game's greatest players maybe we can start to chisel out the six men of the year in the NBA Lou Williams would have to get some serious consideration for that monument Langston Galloway's checked in for Smith Ibaka outside shoots over Bridges Ibaka no luck Suns leading by eight Two on one as they jump out on the break. Rebound by the Clippers. Abaka's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Williams count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Well, it's such a challenge trying to alter anything that Lou Williams does just because you're on your heels most of the time. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Here's a look at the stats for Devin Booker. Great showing for him last season. Second in free throw percentage, ninth in scoring. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And back to his free throw shooting percentage, second in the league, I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused, completely automatic. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Suns. Mikael Bridges, I think one of those talents coming out of college, where a lot of teams expected him to have a 10 or 12 year career playing a great role as a two way player in the NBA. Morris, no good. Suns leading by eight. Three on three. Here's Galloway. Booker outside. Ayton trying to break free. Offensive rebound. Here's the three. Galloway with the bucket. Galloway has got five. 
That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Now here's Beverly. Defense is right there, and he lays it straight in. Beverly's got his third basket of the night. You know, all the way to the bucket, no resistance, just swipe the candy from him. The Suns shooting the ball at 46% success rate since the beginning of the third quarter. Pass to Aiton. Booker looking around. Shot clock at six. No good from outside. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Terrific form at the line throughout last season. 89% on the year. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Galloway, the pass to Aiton. Suns moving the ball around. Bridges against Ibaka. Bridges dishes to Booker. Sinks the 15-footer. Booker's got 13 points in just this quarter. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Williams against Aiton. It's good. Well, Lou Williams for his entire career has been a potent scorer and will fill it up in a hurry. Galloway, the pass to Aiton. Now Bridges, defended by Ibaka. And there's the feed to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Morris right side, kicks to Ibaka. Over Bridges. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Serge Ibaka. And the lean frame of Ibaka taking the punishment but still converting the basket. Toughness. Here's Galloway. Five points in the game. From outside, off the mark. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. And Morris throws it down. Well, he's so dangerous as a scorer. Lou Williams can recognize when there's openings. This time it was a teammate. We've got 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. A shot by Johnson, no good. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Yeah, every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Here's Williams. Basket good. Now it's just a three-point Phoenix lead. Although he's a little bit smaller, Lou Williams does not deter himself from getting inside and scoring over the top of the trees. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. 
Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Booker and Johnson fill out the wing. Bridges out there with DeAndre Ayton, and it's Galloway in at point guard. To the inside, Leonard, and then Leonard with the dunk. Well, not much you can do to stop that. Leonard showing once again his physical prowess at the 10. Phoenix leading by three. There's Galloway on the wing. Booker beyond the arc. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. 32 points for Devin Booker. And he got loose from the three-point range in the first half and showing signs here that he's still got the flow in the second. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. The sun shooting well. They're at 45%. Galloway finds Booker. Here's Bridges. Back to Booker. And here's Johnson outside. Here's Ayton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on George. Well, the defense respects Ayton's ability to score, especially from that area on the floor. He becomes dangerous. Free throw drops for Ayton. So for the Suns, Charge checked in for Bridges. Jay Crowder comes in for Johnson. And Paul subbed in for Devin Booker. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Ayton hits them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. George looking over the floor. Bobs it up for Ibaka. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. Suns lean by four. Galloway kicks to Crowder. Charge in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. For Los Angeles, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And it's Paul George with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Ayton. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And it's George finishing it off. Well, you can depend on Paul George to shoulder some of this offensive load. There are times where this team can turn over the reins to him, and he capitalizes that time. There's Galloway. Fires the three. Here's Ayton. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Ayton's got 21 in the game. Outside, George, down low, and finished off by Leonard. Really heads up there, a play where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Jackson against Paul, uses the glass that time, and it's good. And the Suns lead by four. Just love to see Chris Paul operate in that area. It slows himself down. Great balance. That's one of his many strengths. George passes to Leonard. Some solid defense from Ayton. Here's Galloway. That one goes in. And now a six-point Phoenix lead. 
for Los Angeles. They've gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Pass to Zubats. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Just five on the clock. Outside Leonard from past the arc, and he's good on the three ball. Leonard's got nine points now in the quarter. Here's Paul. And there's the pass to Galloway. Aiton with it. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. Galloway has got three assists now in this one. And it's one thing to get to your spots. It's another thing to shoot with that kind of rhythm. And DeAndre Aiden in one right now. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. the first and, and Reggie Jackson the former 24th pick by the Thunder wasn't content to back up Westbrook he basically forced his way out in search of a larger role the Suns making a switch here Payne's checked in all free throws good from Jackson Suns leading by three Paul outside. Sweet little floater. Love the deft touch from Chris Paul on the floater there. His timing on those shots sublime. For Los Angeles, they've gotten it done so far from the field here on the fourth, going six for seven. George passes to Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Phoenix has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. Here's Paul. It counts. And the foul. That's on Reggie Jackson. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. And the Clippers making a change here. Morris has checked in. And that one falls for Paul. Oh, just such leadership that Chris Paul brings every night to the floor. It commands your respect and the opponent's respect. And it's making everyone around him better right now. In the corner, George with it. Passes to Morris. Back to George. It's stolen by Sharks. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. And the Suns miss again. Leonard draws the double to the middle. Here's Zubats and the dunk by Zubats. Well, this is the next step and evolution for Kawhi, showing great signs of improved playmaking. Suns leading by four. Paul outside. And it's sent back by George. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Clippers trail by four. Outside Leonard. And then Leonard with the dunk. They don't give a cerebral player like Leonard that kind of opening. He'll read that gap. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 11 points. Charge outside. Pass to Crowder. The trade. It's hauled in by Zubats. 
Zubac has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Leonard can't get it to fall. It seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup, tried to go to something else, and, and flat out choked it. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. Back to George to tie it up. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got assist number seven for him tonight. So good, so experienced. Paul George can convert the toughest of buckets. And here are the Suns now. Phoenix calls timeout. timeout. And doesn't timeout. like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, here's what Monty Williams went over with his team during the timeout. This is still a close game, and he told us, guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. Guys? Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. The Suns trailing. Booker outside. And just miss after miss right now. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting an offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Morris passes to Jackson over Paul. Jackson misses. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Pass to Crowder. Booker dishes to Crowder. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Charge finds Booker. Four on the shot clock. From outside the arc. That one no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Sharich. That's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Leonard attacking, and here's Morris for three. It's hauled in by the Suns, and Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Paul. It's hauled in by Zubats. L.A. has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Jackson from long range. A second chance effort and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The first free throw is good. Good on both. Suns trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Back to Scharch. Over Morris. The shot by Scharch. No good. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Free throw good from George. And both free throws good for Paul George. The Sun shooting here in the fourth quarter around 41%. Booker against George. Knocked loose and it's out of bounds. 
And they say it was last touched by Leonard. And the Suns call time. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. And yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there. So it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Looking around, lobs it up for Crowder, and Crowder lobs it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. The pass to Leonard. Back to Jackson. Down low, a shot. Here's Zubats, and misses it off the right side of the rim. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. A three from Leonard. Buries the long-range jumper. Leonard's got 40 points. So money on the catch and shoot. I don't know what the defense is doing there, giving Kawhi that shot. Here's Booker. He trains the quick shot. That's got to feel good. A guy who can score stepping up and hitting buckets as important as that one. Los Angeles leading by five. 151 left in the fourth. Passes it to Zubats. To the inside, Morris. And the rejection by Eaton. Nice timing as Eaton's up there for the rejection. Pass to Sharch. Booker outside. Eaton in the corner. On deep. It's Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, Morris in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. And here's Booker. Excellent D there from George. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Pass to Leonard. Back to Jackson. And it's Leonard, top of the key. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Aiton. And the defender was slow reacting, didn't fully account for Kawhi's quickness. Slow played him and gets to the free throw line. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a nine-point ball game here. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Booker up top, defended by George. No good from Booker. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Leonard's got the ball. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. And I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? And that's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Crowder against Leonard. There's the pass to Zubats. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Ball right side. Off target from outside. Leonard with the ball. And so Los Angeles takes the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi, you seem to pick it up offensively down the stretch. So what changed for you? Uh, I just started to knock down shots, got my rhythm going, my teammates found me, and uh, uh, just kept going from there. 
Well, it rode all the way to a win, and I know you like that, man, so appreciate your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldrich, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you later.